Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter, and today I will be showing you a tutorial on using SMB to scan your documents through a domain file share, and this will be on the Xerox N60W scanner. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'll be going over the Xerox N60W scanner. And starting from here, if you tap on the file option on the left, you'll see the scan to network area. And I don't have any profiles configured yet. So when I click the scan button, I'm going to get the error. Please select a profile. So the next step is setting up that profile. The first thing you'll need is the scanner's IP address, which you can find up here at the top right. It says wired IP address 192.168.9.136. Using that IP address, I will be able to configure some profiles. So on my Windows computer, the next thing I will need to know is the name of the server. In this case, our server name is Server Matter, and my profile is orin.frost. So I need to figure out what the IP address of the server is. I can go to a command prompt here and type in ping space the name of the server, which in this case is server matter, and I should get a reply from the IP address that it's hosted on. Now that you have the scanner's IP address as well as the servers, you can open up a browser and type in the scanner's IP address here. This will allow you to configure additional settings inside of your scanner. To log in, you'll need to put in the default Xerox scanning login name and password, which is both lowercase admin, which you can change for security's sake. I'm going to change the password here to something a little bit more secure than admin and lowercase. And I'll change the login name as well. And make sure when you're done doing that, you click the update button to make the changes go through. All right. So from here, I can log out and I can log back in to make sure the changes went through successfully. All right, now on to the next step. You're gonna to navigate down to file profiles in order to set up a profile. Click on new, and from here I can make a profile name, which I'll just name Orin for now. Make sure you change the target URL to SMB, and this is where you're going to put in the server IP address, followed by the backslash and then your user profile name. I'm going to cross check the server IP address, my user profile, and the folder that I'd like to make the scans go to from here which is this file path. So I will update that in the target URL. The next step is putting in your login name for the domain. Mine in this case is Orin period frost. And then putting in my password. But well, one thing to always check is go to command line and type in all one word, who am I? And hit enter. Now I missed office with a backslash before the login name here. So make sure that what says, what the who am I command says there reflects the login name. And it gives you some additional settings that you can change in here. But for now, I'm just going to submit this. Actually, I'll change that to Oren test, although you can't have a space in the profile name. So I'll submit it here. And if it says it was successfully processed, you can go back in by hitting the checkbox and modifying. And I'd recommend submitting a test. If that goes through, okay, it's time to test the scan and make sure it goes through to the file folder that you're looking for. All right, and then click on the file area and my profile shows up right here. So I'll go ahead and add a piece of paper. good. 
Let's test the scan. Alright. So the preview looks good on that. I'll hit the green button one more time to confirm it. And send OK is a good sign. Now I'm back here at my share. I'm going to get to my scan folder, and there it is. It came through successfully. On the left sidebar, you can navigate back to file profiles and click on the new button to add as many user profiles as you need. Doing it through the computer is not the only way to get a profile set up, but it is a little bit easier with all the typing you have to do. You can also scroll down here to the bottom to settings. It'll prompt you for a login name and password which I will take a moment to put that in. For first time setup, it'll just be admin and all in lowercase for the login name and the password. And then it'll bring you to this page. Now it's possible when you first set it up that your time and date will be incorrect. So you'll need to adjust that here in device management. And then there's date and time. And then there's also a file profiles area where you can hit new and you can manually configure it through here as well. Make sure you select scan to SMB, add a profile name as just a description on the top. The same thing applies here on the other portion of the video where you'll need the IP address of the server followed by a backslash with your share folder and then your login name and password right in these boxes. And that wraps up this tutorial on using the SMB scanner. Thank you so much for watching our video on setting up the Xerox N60W scanner to use with your domain file shares in SMB. If you have any questions about this topic or just want to know more about this scanner in general, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll do our best to give you quick assistance. You're also welcome to give us a call anytime. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.